seen Scott Leva in dozens of movies. You just don't recognize his face. His is one of the most dangerous jobs on any film set. One wrong move can culminate in disaster. Scott's desire to make a better, safer stunt airbag was born out of personal tragedy. In 1997, my best friend, very close to him, we got a high fall and pretty much hit the edge of the bag, collapsed, took him to the ground. He had a head injury and died four hours later. I took it personally. So I started, uh, I bought airbags and I took them apart and I figured out, well, this works, this doesn't work. And basically changed the entire concept of how the air goes in, how it lifts, that instead of being an air ball, it was more like an air hand or glove, that it would roll in wherever the weight hit within the parameter. Colin, I'd like you to go on the level just below Brett. I'd like your feet to hit here. There were some people that have done high falls and have hit airbags deep or way off center and has collapsed, lifted, bounced, spit them out. And some cause injury and quite frankly, some were deaths. Okay, really deep. Don't move, don't move, don't move. Put your head back here. This same fall, not that I'm putting you down here, Nancy. No, no, no. Killed a stunt woman. This same fall, Stunt woman hit her head here. She bounced up and hit her head into the wall. Scott Leva's precision airbag is constructed out of 20 ounce vinyl. Hit it. The most durable, lightweight, tear resistant fabric available. Older airbags are made of more of a parachute, lightweight material. They're rounded. This is a heavier vinyl. It's a different, strong mesh. It takes a lot to tear it if I put a hole in it. It's not easy to tear. The earlier airbags, you could rip and could pretty much do a full tear into it. Some people, when there were rips, when they'd hit the bag, had gone right through. This, if it's actually, if it has a good size rip, if you hit it, you're not gonna go through the rip. It will not separate the rip. The material's different. Technology has come a long way since the first movie stunt falls kept audiences on the edge of their seats. Historically, stunts were done quickly uh, on the spur of the moment, and sometimes it was any guy who was brave enough to try it got the job of stuntman. And, and you know, it was a job that evolved. And uh, if, there were, if there was someone hanging around the set who would take a risk, they became stuntmen. Then they barely began to start thinking about it seriously. The evolution of falls were way back, they would jump onto mattresses. They would jump into foam pits. They would jump into boxes. Um, airbags were developed along the way where you would put a bag with air into it and people used to hold it. And as soon as the person hit, they'd let it go and boom. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they'd bounce out. Sometimes they'd hit deep, but they'd have people around catching them. What really separates the precision airbag from anything else on a movie set is its baffling system. The baffles release as the bag catches and holds a body, kind of like a catcher's mitt. The fans and dual air hoses adjust, depending on the weight of the person jumping. The standard bag has what's like a hammock on the inside. And with a standard bag, you'll see it tends to ball up. If you're looking directly down on this bag or even from the side, you'll see this squares out. By having this hammock system, which the more hits you did, the more it did this, the more the bag started to ball, which in turn gives you a place here for a collapse or down here for collapsing. The baffling system here, which pulls the bag side to side on a tension with stretch, gives the bag this level compared to this. So it's always an air bag. It's always within the parameters here. No doubt the precision airbag has saved lives. Even so, Scott never takes safety for granted. He recently experienced a close call. Only one time that the guy tripped and he was coming straight down, I jerked this bag in and he came in right here. And that was the only time I've ever seen, and I'm talking, we pulled, and it caught him. But the truth is, it did what it did, and he's alive today instead of going head first and collapsing and going to the ground. So I can proudly say that not only can it, it has saved lives. So that's a big plus. Sam, if you do me a favor and kind of show him what makes it work, no I like doing what I consider contributing to the industry by innovating and adding things that are safe. 
And to be acknowledged by a group as people who say of your peers and people that you respect and admire, it, it doesn't get any better than that. It really doesn't.